Okay, uh, we're interviewing Walt Coughlin, who was in the Secret Service in the 60s and in the White House with John F. Kennedy. Um, so when did you join the Secret Service? February of 1961. And why did you join the Secret Service? Well, I, I majored in criminology in college. I really wanted to go to law school. I didn't have the money to do it. Then I applied, I thought about applying to the FBI. I had friends in the FBI told me that there was no fun in the work there. And I went, I knew the director, I knew of the director of the Secret Service and uh, he invited me to apply and I was lucky enough to uh, be accepted. Okay. And, um, and this was in 61? Uh, 60, I applied in 60, but I ended in 61. Yeah. Okay. And did you know other people already in the Secret Service? I did. I did. Okay. And they, they were happy with it, and I thought I would like to do it. I'm glad that I did. Yeah. And um, so when you first joined the Secret Service, where did you start? Charleston, West Virginia, because their jurisdictions are uh, any anything counterfeiting, and, and uh, there was a lot of counterfeiting going on in West Virginia at the time. Uh uh, it was uh, a difficult place to work because no one wanted to cooperate with the federal government. Uh -huh. But uh, I spent a year and a half there and I learned a lot. Uh, I saw a lot and I uh, was lucky enough uh, after a year and a half to get transferred to the White House. And did you apply for that transfer or how did that transfer happen? No, no you don't apply. If you apply too much, they'll never talk to take you. Okay. Because they think you're some political animal or something. And, uh, no, it's just a professional approach. Okay. They, they do bring you in for a look-see for a couple week temporary assignment. And the, you think while you're there, the supervisors are the ones that are going to recommend you. It's not, it's the guys you're working with. And uh, they're the ones that say yes or no. And who were some of those guys at the time? Do you remember who all was there? I remember all of them. And uh, I, I kept my mouth shut and listened to them because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I just wanted to learn and uh, became good friends of all of them. And uh, I saw some temporary guys that were there that thought they were uh, the, the honor, the honor in the White House for their presence and they never made it. Right. They never were qualified to go. Okay. Um, so this was then, so you were asked to transfer the White House, you accepted that transfer and that transfer was when? It was in February, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, 1962, about May, April or May. I okay, so year. early, early mid 62. Uh, okay, so Kennedy's already in the White House. Oh yes. Okay, and does he have any say, or is this all a decision no, about no, the Secret Service? Secret Service. Okay, all right. He has so to say he can get rid of you. Sure. Yeah. Um, all right. So Kennedy's already in the White House. Um, there's already obviously a, a Secret Service team there. What were your duties initially in the White House? Well, when you first start, you're on a shift. Every two weeks, you change shifts. There's three shifts at the White House. You get two days off a week. And uh, I, they, they did to me what they do to every rookie. They put you on the mid -ship, midnight shift for the first two weeks. And uh, you don't see anything except darkness and halls. And, uh, but anyway, it, uh, it intrigued me. I enjoyed it. Kennedy was nice to us. Mrs. Kennedy was nice to us. And uh, I was looking forward to a career. Okay. Um, and in those early days, did you have, sounds like you did have interaction with the president and the first lady. Well, they were very friendly. Uh, they were, uh, Kennedy was, he knew all of our names, which was kind of an interesting thing. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and she was nice. She was very quiet, but, uh, and the kids were little, so we had no really, uh, interaction with them. Yeah. But, uh, but they were nice kids, and every, everything at the White House was was, uh, was nice. Do you remember your first interaction with President Kennedy? Yes. Uh, he, he, when, when, you, when he's in, in, the, in the mansion, uh, you hear a, a bell ring that means he's going to the office. And so you go from your post in the mansion to follow him to the White House. And I come downstairs to follow him, and he turns and said, Hey, Walt, how you doing? Welcome. And I was shocked that he knew my name and that he even was nice enough to recognize I was there. Right. And what about your first interaction with uh, Jacqueline Kennedy? Uh, I didn't have much to do. There was a detail assigned to her, but she was a very private person, a very quiet person. And uh, she was nice, but uh, I really never had much interaction with her, but right. I liked her. Right. 
Okay. 